Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, dogs, and cats, and welcome back to Calm Down and Level Up. Today we're here again, holy shit, welcome back to our AI only, our, you know, jeez, Millennium Chaos, um, free for all, no factions, everything. Everything you've ever wanted in life is here in this series. Welcome, welcome back. If you remember last time, um, well I actually don't remember last time because a lot of shit happened. I do remember though that the Italians successfully defeated the Hungarians and now... The Italians have a stronger grip over the Balkans than they did. Um, I was looking in here though, the Italians only have 39 divisions now. Um, and I seem to remember them having more. So that's a little confusing to me that why they only have that many divisions. But they are building more. Oh, and it seems they've run out of manpower. <laughs> that would be why they don't have the divisions. Turkey, on the other hand, who basically controls all of the Balkans. Um, it, whether they're puppets or annexed land. Um, 104 divisions, zero manpower as well. These they need to figure out how to update their manpower. Um, I didn't, I forgot that Persia and uh, India, Persia and Pakistan, I think were in an alliance, or they're just fighting together or something, or maybe not. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm confused. Um, oh yeah, they ha they have Afghanistan as a puppet, and uh, they ended up fighting India. India is the most OP thing ever. Um, it has 492 divisions. China might be catching up though. 337. Um, once these two go to war, it's going to be nasty. I think China is justifying on... Hold on, something just had there. Oh, Turkey declared war on Arabia. I forgot that that was happening. Um, so China is justifying on Bhutan. And I think Bhutan is guaranteed... Yeah, B Bhutan is guaranteed by India. So that's going to make China and India throw hands here in a bit. Um, I'm interested to see what's going to happen with... Um, with Turkey and Arabia. Arabia has manpower, so they... But they have less divisions. Um, but they're also fighting Kuwait, and Kuwait's doing good. <laughs> um, even though they, they have also zero manpower, it looks like... Okay, there's a couple divisions here that are holding the Turks off, but they're gonna get pushed back. This is gonna be really hard for Turkey to, to fight in here, just push through the desert like this without any manpower. Oh, check this out. I don't know if this was happening last time, but Poland is justifying on Belarus... They're going to unite these two giants. After the, after these two unite, they could be powerful enough to take on Russia. Head-to-head, -head, I think. Russia has about 300 divisions. Um, Belarus, 22 for that entire thing. And Poland, 50. So, I mean, Poland and Belarus are both weaker than Russia at this point. Poland could ga could gain a ton of territory here if they, if they do what they should do and annex all of it. Um, but what they're probably going to do is, you know, puppet some stuff and annex only some of it. But still, Poland's going to get huge. Um, Germany, I think, is actually more powerful. 74 divisions for Germany, plus a few puppets. Like, I think we remember checking on the Czechs earlier, and the Czechs have 56 divisions on their own, which is already more than Poland. So the Russians in Kazakhstan, Kazakhstan being a puppet of the Russians now, are trying to push back Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan is actually kind of taking over territory from from Kazakhstan and they could be dangerous if they push this if they capture this because um, all these divisions could be pocketed here in Turkmenistan but let's go check out Angola versus Tanzania oh I guess it is possible I I didn't I haven't come down here in, to Africa for a while um, Angola Tanzania really powerful turns out geez um, also Sudan Niger and Zaire are all doing pretty good Tanzania and Angola though these two have definitely done the best, I would say. Um, Tanzania just starting right here, conquered north and south. Um, are they still at war with Mozambique, though? Yeah, they are. So they're at war with Mozambique and Angola now. So that's a little dangerous for them. I think Angola has more divisions. Um, Tanzania is 51 with... Did they, also, did they have no manpower? Yeah, both of these guys have no manpower. Um... Angola is at 104 divisions. They'll probably probably be dropping because of the lack of manpower and they're fighting in, you know, un undeveloped Africa. So it's going to be really hard for them to keep up with supply. Sudan, with a lot of manpower, 1.57 million, are still trying to push Libya um, with the help of Chinese supporters um, out of Libya. And it looks seems to be working for the most part. Uh, Sudan has basically captured all of it. The UK controls a little bit of it. I'm surprised that Egypt hasn't done anything this game. Egypt is usually a huge player in these in these wars, but not this time. Egypt's just sticking to their roots. 
They're just staying here with their 2.83 million manpower. They're hanging out. They're keeping their their divisions for when they need when they need them to defend themselves or something. Look at this Brazilian manpower dropping. This is like in the matter of hours, they're losing tens of thousands of men attacking into Peru because Peru is so defensible with its mountains. Even though Peru has no manpower and only like 30 divisions, I think Brazil is taking the harder hit here. But yeah, there goes China on Bhutan, which means there could be fighting across the whole border here if... Oh, and they nuked Bhutan. <laughs> uh, yeah, they nuked Bhutan because, because Bhutan really needed to be nuked. Oh shit, yeah. I see fighting on the Chinese-Indian border. So it is happening. They, they did get called in. India decided to help. And there goes a nuke into Nepal. Kathmandu has just been erased from the map. Right on China. You're doing good. Bhutan was annexed into China, but they're still fighting India. Oh shit, look at this. The Indian state took 15 states. India has annexed all of Iran. And most, well, most of Iran. Most of Afghanistan. Most of, um, <laughs> most of Pakistan. Tajikistan and Kurdistan and Iran were now puppeted. Um, yeah, so let's let's just check this out. So here's their puppets, one, two, three, and that's all of India now. So China's taking on that, this this India right here. That's going to be a little scary. Um, wait, is Vietnamese state? Okay, the Vietnamese state is just friends with India. This part of Vietnam is actually annexed into China. It looks like China updated their manpower, so they're going to have a little bit easier of a time. India still has not updated their manpower, but I think they still have more divisions. 564, China um, 335. Turkey also has broken um, a lot of these a lot of these desert tiles and is pushing Arabia down. Kuwait is also continuing to push. I think Arabia's divisions died. They have 41 now. I'm not sure how many they had before. I think it was in the 50s, but I could be wrong. Maybe it was in the 30s. Okay, so the Italian state are now justifying war on Croatia. I think Croatia is independent. Yeah, it is. It's the last independent one down here, I think. Because you got the Turkish block. Oh, unless Montenegro. No, Montenegro is. Yeah, you get the Turkish block here. Um, which is all these states plus Turkey. Then you've got the Italian one, which is Italy, Slovenia, and Hungary. And then there's just Croatia here right in the middle. Also, Slovakia is its friend, I guess. Slovakia is also independent. Some of you pointed out that Germany is going commie. Well, they're not going commie, they're going social dem. So, take that how you want. <laughs> We're seeing early Chinese victories here. Um, all of this area was captured, and then also the, now they're pushing into Nepal. They've already taken Bhutan, and they've pushed through Pradesh. I'm not even going to try to pronounce the first word, I, I apologize. Americans are landing in Siberia. Um, Russian Siberia. I'm not sure why. I can't remember why that war started, but, you know, the, the war started. America and Russia are at war, and the Americans are now in Siberia. So, that's that's just happening. The Norwegians and the Swedes are still at war. Um, the Norwegians have a way larger army, but they're just not using it. Like, they're not streaming into Sweden to try to capitulate them. Also, the Finns have pushed Norway out of this whole northern region. It doesn't look like Finland's army is that big, though. A lot of its divisions may have died. They have five divisions. It looks like a lot of their divisions died when they were pushing down. But there's also some Italians that are helping the Finns. So Sudan made peace. Um, this is the Libya that they puppeted. It looks disgusting. It has an intestine sticking out of it. Um, but, you know, the rest of it was annexed. So you gotta you gotta leave it to these guys and just ruin to just ruin the entire the entire thing. The Italian state declared war on the state of Croatia. Okay, so that there goes that. Croatia is definitely dead. And Sudan is now justifying on Tanzania as well. So Angola and Tanzania have been at war. Angola is definitely winning. They're pushing through um, Zimbabwe. Is, and is this Zambia? Yeah, it's Zambia. Uh, which were controlled by Tanzania. Also, I think Mozambique is taking advantage of this and is coming back. Italian troops uh, surround Croatia. I don't think Croatia has a single division. Nope, they don't. They have zero divisions. And it already capitulated and was annexed into the Italian state. What's Italy's next target? They've been uh, streamlining targets for a while. Um, I want to see if they continue it. Oh, they're at war with Slovakia. Why are they at war with Slovakia? Did Slovakia get brought in? Oh, you know what? They can't 
attack Slovakia because they didn't call in hung Hungary. So Hungary won't allow Italian troops to pass through. <laughs> also, the the U.S. is back to social liberal. Um, even though they have less, um, they have. I think maybe what happened was the automatic trigger, the the events triggered, and Bill Clinton won, even though they didn't have the majority of the vote. There's also another major war going on down here in South America between Chile and Argentina. Chile seems to be winning. Um, although I don't know who would win this because, I mean, Argentina has taken land too. And it looks like they're both out of manpower. Anything could really happen here. Norway has actually streamed, streamlined uh, trying to kill Sweden. So they've taken a ton of this area. And they're about to take Stockholm too. They could drive around it and surround it but no they're just gonna drive one tank into it and see if that works out instead jeez holy shit here goes one of the big wars of this of this whole series boys poland versus belarus so these guys haven't fought yet which is pretty crazy poland is definitely going to win there's really no doubt about that but this is just a cool war to watch because these two grew um quite a lot together actually they both fought the same enemies for a little while and they both created big noodle noodly empires that stretch from that stretch in between two seas, so, um, rest in peace, Belarus. These two are kind of like brothers in this game, and now they're killing each other like in the Civil War, so here we go, boys. Rest in peace, Belarus. Poland, you did a good job. Let's just hope that Germany doesn't declare war on you, because then Germany's going to adopt a very, very, very large empire. Wow. Um, Norway didn't take anything from Sweden, they just changed the government. So now it's monarchist. So monarchist Sweden and Norway are now, are now there. I think Sweden's whole army was taken and probably all their equipment too. Here go the Polish invading Moldova as well because Moldova is a Belarusian puppet that was just called into the war. Now the Polish are ready and they're just absolutely destroying them instantly. The Sudanese state declared war on Tanzania. That's a big one too, and Wallonian. Oh, I see. Join Berlin Alliance. <laughs> that faction's gonna get deleted by the by the mod here in a sec. I don't know how Tanzania is gonna hold on for very much longer. They're at war with three countries now, and most of them are, well, basically two of them are superpowers. The other one is, even though it's not a superpower, it's still gaining land back against you, Tanzania. So I'm I'm pretty sure you did a good game. You had a good game, but. I think it's over for you, man. Jace. Check that out. Norway has refocused their forces on fighting Finland. And they've beaten Finland back out of all that territory. And now they're just, like, streaming into Finland. Because Finland lost all its divisions. Actually, it just built some. Built some more. They've got 17 now. And they've got a ton training. So if they can just hold them off a little longer, they might get a, an actual army here to be able to respond to Norway. Actually, if these divisions get stuck out here and Finland comes in here and cuts them off, I think Norway's done because that would be so many divisions dead. Fighting in Poland is more brutal than ever. Poland has is down to 47 divisions. Um, Belarus is actually at 54 now, so Belarus actually has more. Poland, um, both they're both actually out of manpower. Actually, no, look at that. Poland or Belarus had about a couple thousand manpower there for a sec, but I think. I think Poland being out of manpower and being the one attacking is, is definitely not working in its, in its favor. Jeez. They're still taking territory, though, and they're, they're still doing it in a, good, in a good fashion. Anyways, boys, thank you very much for watching this episode. If you liked this episode and you want to see more, make sure to leave a like and a comment telling me what you want to see. If you want to see more of this, if you want to see um, a new series, we can keep doing this. We could probably go for like 10 episodes for this if we really wanted to. But yeah, anyways, boys, thanks again for watching. If you like this, make sure to leave a like, favorite, and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys all next time when Kazakhstan maybe defeats Uzbekistan. Peace!